Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police with Yukon King, swiftest and strongest lead dog breaking the trail in the relentless pursuit of lawbreakers in the wild days of the Yukon. Back to the days of the gold rush as Sergeant Preston with his wonder dog Yukon King meets the challenge of the Yukon. This is the Yukon, the territory patrolled by Sergeant Preston. An area so vast and remote that sometimes isolated mining camps found it necessary to curb the criminal with their own rough brand of justice. Gonaway Creek, a lonely and newly established mining camp, was just such a place. Sergeant Preston's already long patrol route has been extended to include Gonaway Creek, and he was on his way there for the first time in many months. Come on up there, King. Go have a look. Lazy muck. beating that dog. He's an ornery devil. Couldn't pull his own weight. But who are you to care if I whip my own dog? Because I happen to like dogs. And I know they can be trained with kindness better than cruelty. Here, boy. I'll not hurt you. Let's see here. What's the matter? <laughs> this dog's feet are cut. They'll heal. Not in this snow cross, they won't. Stuff cuts like knives. Why don't you put leathers on your dog like I have in mine? You sure are a dog lover, aren't you? Who are you, anyway? Sergeant Preston of the Mounted Police. Yeah, I didn't know. I'm real sorry, Sergeant. If I'd have known that, I... <laughs> don't apologize. What I did, I did as a man, not as a policeman. You can get mucklucks for your dog from Father LeClaire at the mission. It's about five miles south on this trail. I uh, won't have time. I'm doing Circle City by the weekend. Your dog will never make it if you don't take care of his feet. Okay. I might as well take your advice. I hate to see an animal mistreated. Monkey. Okay. Johnson. Why, Sergeant Preston. King, so good to see you again. Won't you come in? No, thanks, Mrs. Johnson. We haven't time. Just thought we'd stop by and say hello to you and Johnny. Ah, uh, Johnny's gone into Gonaway Creek. He left two hours ago. Mm, it's rather late to make the round trip, isn't it? Well, the note's due on our claim tomorrow, and Johnny went in to see if he could get it extended. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Had a run of tough luck? Well, winter closed in a little earlier than we expected. But I'm not worried. I'm sure Johnny can talk Mr. Merrill into that extension. I hope so. Johnny's a fine man. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a finer husband. You sure you'll not come in and have a cup of tea? No, thanks again, Mr. Johnson. I'm sorry to keep you standing out here in the cold like this. You'll probably meet Johnny on the trail on his way back. Tell him to hurry. I'm keeping your supper warm. I'd be glad to. Bye. Bye. All right, King. On you, Husky. <laughs> Johnny Johnson arrived in Gonaway Creek and hurried to see Mr. Merrill about his loan. Mr. Merrill? Mr. Merrill? Johnny, 
Get Doc. There's no doctor around here, Mike. You know that. Uh, Who did this, Mike? Uh, Who shot you? Doc. Johnny. Doc. Uh, Get you inside uh, and find some help. Uh, hey, Merrill. How about joining us for... Thank goodness you fellas showed up. Merrill's dead. Mike's been wounded. Give me a hand with him, will you? What happened here, Johnny? I don't know. I dropped in to see Merrill on business. And I found him slumped over his desk like that. Mike was outside in the snow, and this was lying beside him. Two shots fired. Recently, too. You didn't see anybody around, you say? No, I. Mike was conscious, though. He kept asking for a doc. Must have been delirious. Can you hear me, Mike? Uh, Johnny. Johnny? Uh, Johnny Johnson? Oh, he thinks you're me, Mr. Flint. Doc. Can't we do something for him? I, I dressed that wound, but I'm... Must have been the shock of finding them here like this. Did Johnny Johnson shoot you, Mike? Don't talk crazy, Mr. Garrett. I didn't do this. But he distinctly mentioned your name. We both heard it. Didn't you, Flint? Yeah. Well, that's not true. Well, I told you that... Mike. Mike, please. No. Tell them. Get your hands off him. What do you want him to do? Bleed to death? Well, now, wait a minute. Well, you don't think I did this. Well, well, I had nothing to do with it. I did... Well, it, it don't look good, Johnny, catching you like this. That gun in your pocket, blood on your clothes, shaking like a leaf. I tell you, I didn't do it. Why would I kill Mr. Merrill? And Mike? Well, I've known him since we were friends, you know that. I happen to know you can't meet the payment on your claim. The money was due today. Evidently, you couldn't make Paul Merrill see things your way, so you... That's not true. I... It's wrong for you to stand here accusing me while Mike is dying. Aren't you going to do anything for him? Do something. Just... Keep him alive, that's all I ask. He'll tell you the truth. I'll watch Johnson Flint. See what you can do to make the old man rest easier. Oh, King! There will be some excitement going on here, King. Uh, we'll see what it is. Come on, King. Oh, Sergeant Preston, you're just in time. Merrill's been murdered. And we'll be saying the same thing about Mike soon if he don't get expert help. Merrill was sitting in his chair when he was shot in the back. Old Mike must have heard the shot. Hmm. Did you see the crime? No, but Garrett and I practically caught Johnny red-handed. Johnny? And Johnny Johnson. Johnson? Are you sure? Well... Everything points to it. We got Johnny over at my place. Garrett and some of the men will be holding kangaroo court on him in 10 minutes or so. I was looking after Mike, but I'm due over there to back up Garrett's testimony, since he and I are the only witnesses. Did Johnny confess? Well, no. That doesn't sound like Johnny Johnson, and you know it, Flint. Well, I, I admit I was surprised, Sergeant. You'd better get over to that so-called trial. Delay the proceedings until I can get there. You bet, Sergeant. While Preston dressed the old miner's wounds and made him as comfortable as possible, the kangaroo court for Johnny Johnson awaited the Mounties' arrival. I don't see that Sergeant Preston being here changes anything. I didn't say that it would. All he's asking is that we postpone the proceedings until he can set in. I've told these men the facts as you and I both know them. But I keep telling you those are not the facts! You get your chance to tell your side. They're the jury. It'll be up to them to decide. Sergeant Preston, you've got to help me. I didn't kill Mr. Merrill. I couldn't kill anybody. You know that. Easy, Johnny, easy. Back to your chair, Johnson. Order in the court. Maybe you'd better calm down yourself, Mr. Garrett. I don't know how well you gentlemen are acquainted with the laws in this territory. Well enough to know that a group of respectable miners can try a man. True. An outpost such as this, where it's impossible to maintain formal courts of law. But you gentlemen forget one thing. 
When a law enforcement agent is available, he must conduct an official investigation first. You mean you are in charge here now? That's right. And you'll decide whether or not Johnson's guilty? I didn't say that, Mr. Flint. I said I'd conduct an investigation. After that, you men will hear the evidence I've found and reach your own verdict. What about the prisoner? Keep him under guard until after my investigation. And I'll hold each and every one of you men responsible for his safety. You might as well know now, Sergeant. Unless you can find some mighty good evidence, Johnson Hare is as good as hanged right now. Is that so, men? Excuse me. Johnny! Oh. Ellen, did you hear? When you didn't come back for supper, I was worried. I had a feeling something was wrong. When I came in, darling, what are they going to do? They're accusing me. Me. I know. It's... It's like it just isn't true. I... Have you men lost your senses? You know as well as I do that my husband couldn't have done this terrible thing. Please, Mrs. Johnson. You'll have to trust me. All of us. Do you think he's guilty too, Sergeant? No one has the right to prejudge any case until all the evidence is in. But I'll tell you this much. If old Mike's life can be saved, he'll be able to tell us who's guilty. At least he'll tell you I didn't do it. I know my husband is innocent. Mrs. Johnson, I, I understand you're a very good nurse. Is that right? The sergeant's right, Ellen. If Mike lives, I live. Maybe you can help him. Will you be all right? Don't worry about me now. Worry about Mike. Go to him. Hurry. The sergeant had listened to the conflicting versions of the crime, then made his own investigation of the murder cabin both inside and out. At the rear of the cabin, he found his first real clue, bloody paw marks in the snow that put him immediately in mind of the man he had found beating his dog. Very weak. Oh, I'm afraid, Sergeant. I, if we only had a doctor. What about Father LeClaire? Hasn't he had medical training? No, oh, limited amount. Not much more than we've had. Mike needs surgery, and Father LeClaire doesn't have that kind of skill. But this isn't Johnny's only hope. I found a clue that might be in Johnny's favor. You have? Yes, but I haven't time to discuss it now. I have to investigate it further before I can use it. In running down this clue, I have to go by the mission. I'll ask Father LeClaire to come here and help you with Mike. That way we'll give both uh, Mike and Johnny every possible chance. Thank you, Sergeant. You're very good. Only doing my job. Well, Sergeant, find anything that might make us change our minds. Maybe. Did you find Johnny's promissory note in Merrill's strong box? Yes, I did. And what about the goal? It's still missing. Well, why don't you ask Johnny real polite where he hid it? He might tell you. One last confession before he hangs. There's more than bad taste, Garrett. It's inhuman. Sorry. All right, King. On you, Husky. Hello there, Sergeant. Good to see you. Father, you're needed in Gonaway Creek. A death? One death and a man badly wounded. You know all, Mike, don't you? Of course. Well, he's been shot. Someone held up the mining office, killed Merrill and shot Mike, then made off with about 5,000 gold. How terrible. I leave immediately. Mike's life is important for more reasons than one, Father. Johnny Johnson's been accused, and only Mike knows the truth. Johnny? Why, that's absurd. Well, nevertheless, he's in serious trouble unless we can definitely prove his innocence. One more thing, Father. Did a man driving a dog team with a limping lead dog stop here? No. No one has passed here all day. Is it someone you suspect? Yes. It's a man I met on the trail whose lead dog had cut feet. 
and I found bloody paw prints behind Merrill's office in the snow while I was combing the area. Hmm, sounds like he might be your man, Sergeant. Well, I'll know when I cut his trail and catch up with him. But I'll see you at Goneway Creek, Father. May God go with you, my son. Father, it's been awful sitting here helpless, hoping and praying and... I know, my child. The good sergeant told me. We must do what we can and pray as we go. These tracks don't lead to Circle City where he said he was going. Let's see where they do lead to, huh, King? Come on. you again. You never did put leathers on that team of yours, did you? Ah, didn't have time. Well, maybe it's just as well. Not for those poor dogs of yours, but for a man named Johnny Johnson. Who? The man accused of the murder of Mr. Merrill and the shooting of old Mike. Never heard of any of those men. Good. Then you'll not mind my searching your sled. What's your name? Brainerd. And your first name? Sylvester. Come here. Isn't your nickname Doc? Prayers for the dead? Yes, my child. Now he's with our father. Requiescat in pace. Our last hope. Do not despair, Ellen. God is always with us. They're coming, Father. They said they would come in the morning. Help us, Father. Help Johnny. But the sergeant will be coming, too. He'll be too late. Courage, my child. Has old Mike talked yet, Father? He's dead. Did you hear that? Mike is dead. Mike died without changing his story. He told Flint and me Johnny shot him. If there was ever any doubt about who killed Merrill, there ain't any about who killed poor old Mike. I said Johnny should hang for his crime. No, no! Keep her here, Father. This is hot enough on everyone without her a screaming woman to interfere. But I must see my husband. I have a right to see my husband. Must you be so brutal, gentlemen? Why this unseemly haste? 
All right, all right. You have ten minutes with him. Johnny, believing what Garrett told him, that Sergeant Preston had abandoned the case because of insufficient evidence to upset their verdict of guilty, had bid his wife farewell and made his peace with God. Get up here. Guard it, King. Stay. Guard it. Where's Johnny? Dead by now. Mike died. And they came and took Johnny to the knoll. I tried to go, but I could. Fools. I've got the murder and the proof outside. All right, King, go. On your huskies. No, man, you mustn't. You mustn't. Oh, 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 oh. Stop the hanging. Stop the hanging in the name of the Crown. Are we going to have some more of your bluffing, Sergeant Preston? Listen to me carefully, all of you men. Do any of you recognize the man in my sled? Hold your head up. I know him. That's Brainerd. What do you know about him? He used to work for Merrill. Haven't seen him in about a year. He left town. Do you remember why? Stealing. What's his first name? Most of us called him Doc. That's the man that killed Mike. That's what Mike was trying to say. Johnny, get Doc. Get Doc. And you thought he meant doctor. That's right. How did you ever figure it out, Sergeant? When I found the bloody paw prints in the snow back of Merrill's office, I recall the man I met on the trail. His lead dog had cut feet. And on the top rail of his sled was inscribed, Doc. Does that satisfy you now, men? That's a very nice theory. But I still don't see any proof. No? Well, maybe this will help. After I captured Doc, I searched his sled and I found this bag with Merrill's initials. If you look in the bag, you'll find the missing gold. I'm going to ask some of you men to go up trail and bring back Doc's sled and dogs. All right. So you got the proof against me. But I'm not going to take this rap alone. Garrett is just as guilty as I am. In fact, he planned the whole thing. There you are, Flint. Take the noose off of Johnny. There goes Garrett. Oh. Serve you right if I left you here, Garrett, for a taste of frontier justice. But I'm taking you and Brainerd back to Dawson where you can get a fair trial in the court of law. Get your hands behind you. All right, move. Move. Uh, a lot of us here want to do something more than just apologize to you, Johnny. We'll see that the note you owed Merrill is taken care of until you get on your feet. King, this case is closed. On you, Huskies! <laughs> 